over no, again. No, no, no. We didn't even. We didn't even. You are so stupid. You went to Trafalgar Square. You are approaching the uh, uh, sister Lisa three three twenty four. Because you're stupid. You haven't read your Bible. Do you know what? Do, do, do you know what? Yes. Yeah, let's debate. Women in the Quran, but in the Bible, let's debate. You lie. He went to Trafalgar Square, quoted Nisa 324, saying that the Quran said that female captives used to have sexual relations with them. Is he scared? They will never come to me. Your Bible, what it says about women, you will shake like a leaf, you will faint. You can't. Or they don't attack. Proper debate, I want. Women in the Quran versus women in the Bible, you see? I told you. He's scared. Yeah, but you call and, 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 and approach, approach the innocent. Uh, passes by Trafalgar yeah, Square, but you can't debate now because the verse I'm going to quote to you will faint, you will shake like a leaf. You can't, you see? They can't. Are you Let's debate. Are you stupid? I said, see, see, you see, I said, see, you see, that's the thing. You see that you got all they know, all they, all they know, they can attack, they can attack. That's it. It's empty. Well, you can, you can, let's debate. Let's, let's, let's debate. Let's you debate. Your but you are stupid you and dumb. That's it. Let's wrong. go. Because, and, because guess what? I have exploded all of no, you. Have you read the Bible? You see, you is you talking? talking? Your mom in Brixton. You know your mom. You see this. And what would you say? I was talking about my mother. What would you say about you? See? Because you have no respect. You can't. I mean, you older than your mom. I'm older than your mom. You have no respect. Because you have no respect. You see, no Chris, no, Christ, look at the Christians. How are, how are you Christians will see. Look at this. These are the guys who come and do You see, they have no respect. They don't respect their parents. He doesn't respect his mom. You can't debate. You don't respect your debate. You can't, you can't, you can't. Let's, let's, let's go, let's go. I'm going to go because this guy here, I tell everyone. Yeah, because I saw you Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square. He saw Trafalgar Square. Pulling a, a, a system with a hijab. You know, uh, Nisa 434. Sura 434. No, Sura 424 says that women captives, women captives in the world, you should have sex with them. I said, let's debate. No, 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 let me, no, you're shaking, let me, women in Islam versus women, no, that's why, clown, hijab, clown, yeah. this clown, who is the biggest, who is the have you seen a video, who is the biggest clown, yeah, have you seen a video, you shake like a leaf, you tell, you can't debate, now go, you can't debate, you can follow Muslim women, and lie to them, you see, Trafalgar Square, come and debate, you see, check it out, come, Women in the Quran versus women in the Bible, you see? Run like a chicken heart and win. You're dunderhead that you are. Come on, stupid boy. Run away, can't debate. Telling you. Yeah, you can do that. You see what I mean? I saw him travel squad the video. He was uh, apparently, you know, they, they went there with their cameraman. You see? And they started, any Muslim that passes by, women, they are targeting. A sister was wearing hijab straight away. For three minutes, sister was saying, look, Islam is a piece of religion. You know, Islam elevates the woman. No, no, your Quran is there. Yeah, that the prisoners of war, captives, women, they should be what? raped. He said they were told, uh, the, the soldiers, Muslim soldiers were told to have sex with them. But I'm asking you, read your Bible. I'm going to quote a few verses here from the Bible, so you know what the Bible is. It's running, you know. They haven't studied their Bible. Women in the Quran, women in the, Bible, women in the Quran versus women in the Bible. He knows I was exposed here because I studied his Bible. I'm going to quote a few of these verses here, and you see in the Bible, what is in the Bible? What the Bible says about a woman, and he compared the Quran. If you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the book of Numbers, chapter number 31, verse number 17 to 18, it says that, Therefore, go, kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman who has known man intimately. But for all the girls, spare for yourselves. That's in the Bible. You will never find that in the Quran. That is no Bible. Nowhere in the Quran you have such verses. You read your Bible again. You read your Bible again. It is mentioned in the book of Zechariah, Zechariah, chapter number. 14 verse number 2 says that he said God said God is talking here I will gather all nations against Jerusalem I will gather all nations against Jerusalem the cities shall be taken the houses rifled the women raped in your Bible women raped in your Bible you will never find it in the Quran read your Bible before you come and attack Islam all this in your Bible they said people in people who live in glass houses should not throw stones at others you read the Bible again. The verses is talking about the female captives. It's in the Bible. 
you read the Bible in the book of Deuteronomy. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 20, verses number 10 to 14 says that when you go to war, when you go to war against your enemies, no, he said, when you are about to attack a town, this is in Deuteronomy 20, 10 to 14. When you are about to attack a town, first give its give give its its people time for peace. If they accept your terms and open the gates to you, then all the people inside will serve you in forced labor. But if they refuse to make peace and prepare to fight, you must attack the town. When the Lord your God hands it over to you, to you kill every man in the town. But you must keep for yourselves all the women, children, cattle, and plunder. You may enjoy the spoils of your enemies as the Lord your God has given you. That's in your Bible, not in the Quran, for more in your Bible. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20, verse number 10 to 11 says that when you go to war against your enemies, when you go to war against your enemies, and the Lord your God delivers them into your hands, and you take captives, if you find among the captives a beautiful woman and are attracted to her, you may take her as your wife. What are you accusing the Quran of? It's in your Bible. Several verses in the Bible. Where the Bible speaks in a woman, not in the Quran. Islam uplifts women. You read the Bible again. I'm going to call, I want to, you Christians who come here to attack Islam say, Quran, so be, Islam, so against women. The Quran says this and that about the woman in all lies. And you quote the verses and the hadith out of context. You read the Bible again. In the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter number 3, verse number 16, 1, 6 says that to the woman, he, God said, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain, you shall bring four children, yet your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Why do you find that in your Bible, not in the Quran? Follow me in your Bible. We see women coming here to preach. What did the Bible say about that? What did the Bible say about women? You read again one, another verse in the first Timothy, in the first book of Timothy, chapter number two, verses number 11 to 15 says that, let the woman learn in silence with all submissiveness. I permit no woman to teach or to have authority over men. She should keep quiet. For Adam was found first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. Yet women will be saved through childbearing if she continues in faith and love and holy, holiness with modesty. So according to the Bible, woman is a transgressor, not in the Quran. Several verses in the Bible, the Bible speaks ill of women. You read the Bible again. It is mentioned in, in the book of Hosea, Chapter number 13, 1, 3, verse number 16 says that, he said, the people of Samaria, the people of Samaria have ra rebelled against their Lord. They will fall by the sword. Their little ones will be dashed to the ground. Their pregnant women ripped open. Pregnant women ripped open. Where? In your Bible, not in the Quran. You read the Bible again. Another verse, several verses. Before you come here, atta attack Islam. About Islam subjugating women. Read your Bible. It's only your Bible. And that God, and you say that Jesus is God. You believe in Trinity. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. And no, there are not three gods, but one God. Which means that Jesus, you believe in, was complicit in all these atrocities in your Bible. And you're saying Jesus is peace. Jesus, peace in the Quran. Isa alayhi salam, a peace in the Quran, not in your Bible. You read your Bible again. It is mentioned in this verse I'm called, verse, verses I'm going to quote here. It's about God's punishment for David, according to the Bible. David, a prophet of Allah. How would you be like? You'll never find this in the Quran. That David slept with someone else's wife, Uriah's wife, impregnated her, and then later killed Uriah, the husband of the woman. So what was God's punishment? 
Let's see the punishment. You've got to be shot. Sorry. Sorry. The Quran to give. I've got one copy. One copy. You can go to the brothers. There, they got a copy out there. So what was the what was God's punishment? You read this in the second Samuel, chapter number 12, verses number 11 to 18. But I'm quote, I'm gonna quote 11 to 12 here. The punishment that God they, they, they dealt with uh, David. So in this verse, it said, Thus says the Lord. Second Samuel, chapter number 12, verse number 11 to 12. 11 says this, Thus says the Lord. In this verse, God sent Nathan to David. He said, Thus says the Lord. I will great, thus says the Lord. I will bring evil upon you out of your own house. I will take your wives while you live to see it. And I will give them to your, to your neighbor, and he shall lie with your wives in broad daylight. Verse number 12. You have done the, you have done this deed in secret, but I will bring it about in the presence of the whole Israel and with the sun looking down. So for punishment for David impregnate, impregnating, sleeping with someone else's wife, for him committing adultery, the punishment was, was to take his wives and give them to the neighbor to sleep with them in broad daylight. And you have the audacity to come here to say that Islam subjugates women and the Quran says, uh, 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 like this uh, Captain Bloodfire, Nisa 424, that the prisoners of war, the women captives, were told, the, the uh, soldiers, Muslim soldiers were told to sleep with them. What a pathological liar. So read your Bible before you come here and lie about Islam. When we come here with the Dai, the objective here is to invite people to Islam. Islam simply means submitting one's will to the will of Almighty God Allah. To worship Allah and do not associate any partners with him. All the prophets, as I say in the, in the Bible, they are all Muslims, including Jesus. Isa, Jesus, we call Isa, alayhi salam, Jesus, peace on him, never said he's God, never said worship me. He was the Messiah, the prophet of Allah, sent the children of Israel. So you can see the Christian preachers who come to Speaker's Corner here. If you look at the uh, YouTube, the videos, it's all about attacking Islam. But a proper debate, such as the concept of God in Islam versus the concept of God in Christianity. Quran or the Bible was the word of God. What are the attributes of Almighty God? Allah, Almighty God, the Creator. Oh, who is the Creator? They will never debate with such topics. They will just come here to attack and quote the Quran and uh, the Hadith out of context. So we invite you to the religion of all the prophets. Allah said in the Quran, in the dina, in the light, Islam. Indeed, the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam. Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, you call it Jesus, and all the prophets in the Bible, as I said, they were all Muslims. There is not a single verse in your Bible. Why Jesus said, he is God, why he said, worship me. We did die, you have quoted extensively from the Bible, where the Bible makes a distinction, where Jesus himself makes a distinction between him and Almighty God. So they are not co-equal, co-eternal. When Jesus said, the, ba the Father is greater than I, John 14, 28, my Father is greater than I. How are they co-equal? In 1 Corinthians 11, 3, said the head of Christ, the head of Christ is God. What is co-equal, co-eternal, co-equality? Co so my voice has gone down. Wa akra dawana, wa alhamdulillah, wa alameen. This is just, uh, I went to uh, challenge Captain Blood, Cap Captain Bloodfire or Johnny, who is uh, exceedingly rude. All he knows there to come here to malign all the time. The man, this man is malign, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and attacking Quran. I came to approach him, as I said from the be at the beginning, uh, that he went to Trafalgar Square with a cameraman, and they were approaching Muslim women. And they approached a, a sister, telling the sister that uh, Surah Nisa 424 condones the raping of 
female cat is a war, which is pathological liar. So, akradawana, alhamdulillahi rabbi alameen.